Boone at St Mary's Stadium where Southampton hope to end their hoodoo against Swindon Town. Nigel Adkins has named an unchanged starting 11 and substitutes bench from the side that drew 0-0 away at Hartlepool on Tuesday night. Ricky Lambert has got 14 league goals this season. The entire Swindon starting 11 put together have got just 16. Swindon do make two changes from their last outing. Simon Ferry comes in, as does lone man Mike Greller. Live commentary of this one with myself and Dave Merrington. The free kick is going to come in and it's Chamberlain over on the far touchline to take it and the centre half's come forward. It's too close to the goalkeeper, is it? The keeper makes a bobble, it's bounced around in the area. Oh, and somehow Ricky Lambert didn't turn it in. Well, it looked initially like it was too close to the goalkeeper. Instead of trying to catch it or punch it, he sort of flapped at it. It was bouncing around inside the six-yard box. I don't think Lambert knew the ball was by his feet and they, it was cleared, it's behind and it's a goal kick, in fact. But what a chance for Ricky Lambert. Well, I just felt there, Andy, that the goalkeeper came. And as he, as he leaned back and looked up, I think he was blinded by the sun and uh, just lost, lost it out of his vision. And now Rose has it, and Rose takes a heavy touch. And it's an up to the one possession. And Chamberlain is streaking towards the penalty area. There's only two red shirts back. There's a man over, he can find him. Chamberlain's still going. Shoots off the post. Oh, what a great one from Chamberlain. Did everything right. We did an out two men, shot across the goalkeeper, and it's come back on the inside of the post, and Swindon survived. Well, Swindon gave the ball away on the halfway line, and uh, Chamberlain's picked it up, he's attacked the flank, he's cut inside, he's gone past the defender, he's fired past the goalkeeper, he's gone across the face of the goal, hit the far post, come back across the line and out. How unlucky can you get? Well, he had done everything right, and if his shot had been only a few inches to the right Southampton would have a 1-0 lead we'll be 13 and a half minutes gone Southampton nil Swindon nil Saints closest to scoring Alex Chamberlain hit the post Saints kicking from left to right in this first half as we look from our position in the itching stand there's a heavy touch there from Chaplow but he just about keeps possession and finds Jose Fonte the Portuguese centre back who needs one more goal for his highest ever tally great skill from Lambert Lambert driving towards the area here's Gulli on the edge of the area plays it into Lallana Lallana must score it's off the post and in! Oh, what a lovely goal from Southampton. Great passing, great skill from Lambert to start it off. Lallana was in all kinds of space inside the penalty area. It seemed like everything had slowed down. There was no challenge that came in. And Lallana scored by playing it between the keeper's legs. It went in off the post and we played 15 minutes. It's Southampton 1, Swindon 0. Well, that's some clinical work by Southampton, they knock the ball around superbly, eventually getting Lallana in, he's cut into the box and that has gone underneath and uh, the goalkeeper and into the net but uh, this fella for me, Lallana when he was out of the side, I thought the side missed him, he gives the side that something extra, he's a little bit special and what a good player, good finish 1-0. Great build up from Lambert to Gooley though, Lambert with the initial skill, nutmegged a man, got himself a bit of space, played it into Gooley and Gulu is smart enough to see Lalana in a great position. It was a great run from Lalana. Quite how he was that free, eight yards from goal, I'm not sure. But he kept his composure, took his time, and he had plenty of time to do so, controlled it, and then forced it between the goalkeeper's legs. It's Newcastle 1, Bolton 0 in the Premier League. Kevin Nolan with the goal against his former cross. And Wigan 0, Manchester United 1. Javier Hernandez, or Chikorito as he likes to be called, with that Cha goal. Chaplow's made some uh, excellent runs, you know, from midfield. This one was in behind the centre-back and the, and the right-back this time. Really good diagonal running from him. Cross from Harding. Gooley gets his head to the ball. It's bouncing around. Can Chamberlain get hold of the ball? Yes, he can. Chance then for Chamberlain, perhaps, to cross from this near-right touchline. Chamberlain, twisting and turning, drives in towards the penalty area. Great play from Chamberlain, until the finish, which was a left-footed shot that went high and wide. Well, he's gone for goal, he's dipped his shoulder right, he's dipped his shoulder left, he's come onto his left side and he's tried to go for goal when really he's just got to get it across the face of the goal, even if he's going for the shot. It makes it difficult for the goalkeeper because if he doesn't handle it and it comes back down, you've got the other strikers coming in on top of it. And now Butterfield just drills one down the right touchline, but Swindon should be able to pick up possession again. Although Chaplow's there and he read that one well, he picks it up. Lambert now, Dan Harding comes forward over on the far left touchline. Loads of space for him and he brings forward. He's one-on-one -on -one with the fullback if he wants to take him on. He thinks about it, he gets beyond him, a chance to cross it from the byline. It's lifted towards Lambert, Lambert with the header, Gooley with the volley. It's off the post again. Another chance for Harding to cross but he was offside and Swindon survived. 
and for the second time in the opening 25 minutes, great play from Southampton, ends with them hitting the post. Well, it's, it's happened because they've got the ball out wide as Harding's come forward. He's picked up the ball, he's attacked that left flank, he's got to the line, sold the dummy, dinked the ball up into the air, Lambert's knocked it down, Coolidge got on the end of it, and uh, somehow it just hasn't been able to score, but it was wonderful play from Southampton. Behind them for a goal kick, which David Lucas will take. Gooley on the swivel, just made decent contact with the ball, the keeper was nowhere near it, as Fonte sends the ball back towards Kelvin Davison, but Harding will take this one left-footed. So we wait for the referee signal. Harding runs up. It's an in-swing. It's a dangerous delivery. Well won, though, in the air by Jonathan Douglas. Lana picks up possession on the edge of the penalty area. Faced by Ritchie. Forced away from goal. Lovely cross from him, right-footed. Lambert then heads it down. Fonte might be there. Fonte chests it down. Goes to ground. Referee not interested. Well, there was an appeal mainly from the fans, but Fonte, well, he went into a strong challenge there and he came off worse, went to ground. Lucas is able to come and pick up the ball. Dave, anything there for you? Wonderful little cushion header there from Lambert, but uh, referee was right on the spot, and uh, he didn't seem to, to have any, any doubt about it. Swindon lineup for you. David Lucas in goal. The back four, Paul Caddis, Scott Cuthbert, Andy Frampton. As Southampton looks to take a free kick quickly and then think better of it. Three central midfielders, Simon Ferry, Jonathan Douglas, John Paul McGovern. The men on the wings, Matt Rich on the right, Jonathan Abeka on the left and Mike Greller, the man on loan, the only striker. As Lambert lifts it forward, Gooley with a chance! Oh, and he's, he's put it wide. Oh, he snatched at the effort. It was a free kick sent diagonally towards the edge of the area, brilliantly brought down by Lambert. He set it up for Gooley, he had time and space, and he snatched at his effort, and it's a good couple of yards wide. Well, I think you're absolutely spot on, Andy. He snatched at it, he's, he's hit it with his right foot, he's pulled it round, it's gone past that near post, when really a little bit more composure and uh, you've got to say, that was a, a chance that's gone uh, begging, Andy. He had the time and space to pick out well, the spot and just pass it into the corner. That, it was only it eight or nine needed, yards out. He needed that little bit of composure to steady himself and finish it off. Chamberlain with possession for Southampton inside the Swindon half, but he was surrounded by three red shirts and he lost out. Grella does well, plays it for Obika. Obika's got round the back of Fonte. Fonte thinks about pulling him back. Jaidi is over there, makes a good challenge. Obika rather theatrically goes to the ground. He did well to get round Fonte, but there was no doubt that was a fair and firm challenge from Jaidi, and it's behind for a corner. But worrying signs there because Obika did Fonte for pace. Yes, he did, and uh, but good combination work. You know, you're looking for combination work from different players, and the two centre halves got it right there, working together. Swindon corner to be taken left footed in towards the near post, bouncing around. It's going to fall for a white shirt though. It was Danny Butterfield who just hurriedly cleared it up towards halfway. It's out of play for a throw into Swindon just inside the Southampton half. Oh, how we needed that uh, that chance. Uh, from Gooley to, to make it 2-0 because as long as it remains 1-0 you know the crowd will remain edgy it'll give uh, Swindon uh, self-belief you know that they can uh, get that goal and if, should they get that goal this could finish up a difficult game for them Southampton still 1-0 up Lallana's goal on 15 minutes the difference between the two sides is Swindon prepare for a long throw over from that far touchline it's in towards the six yard box it's flicked on and there was no one at the far post for Swindon and the ball just rolled tantalisingly along the edge of the six-yard box, but there wasn't a red shirt in sight, and it's behind for a goal kick. Let me just tell you, Andy, that's one of the, the, the areas, the back of the six-yard box, that I would always want a player to be making them uh, making himself get there. You want somebody going in because the number of times the ball falls there, it's unbelievable, and that was an opportunity for Swindon. So we can tell you the attendance today, 22,627, another pretty decent showing at St Mary's. There's a foul committed by Dan Harding on halfway and Swindon look to take it quickly and they do so. And now there could be a chance to break into the penalty area. Here's Caddis, he cuts back onto his left foot, needs support, trying to take on Harding. He was never going to get the better of Harding and Harding did well, blocked his cross, had a play for a throw-in, which Caddis takes quickly. The Swindon fans getting excited over to our right. Caddis twisting and turning past Chaplow in towards the penalty area. Caddis at the byline, drills it across, it goes all the way across goal. And somehow Southampton survived. Well, there were five men in there, and Chamberlain does well, wins a free kick just to ease the pressure. But it was a drilled cross from the byline that deflected up into the air. There were five players in and around the goal line, and somehow it looped over all of them and away to safety. Well, it's looped over all of them, Andy, and gone to the back post. It really was a knock-in if anybody again is coming round the back. 
a little bit of a let off there for Southampton. Bournemouth one, Dagger and Redbridge one. Danny Ings has equalised for Bournemouth at Victoria Road. And Sun up to lose possession of midfield. And they're breaking forward. And there's space for Ritchie to drive towards the penalty area. Ritchie cuts in on his left foot, goes for the shot and scores for Swindon. Well, he hasn't had a great game so far, but Matt Ritchie made that look easy from 20 yards out. He cut into his left foot and drilled it into the bottom corner. Kelvin Davis couldn't get there quick enough. It's Southampton 1, Swindon 1. Well, he's cut down the right-hand side. He's cut in just on the edge of the box. He's hit that with his left foot. Kelvin Davis is going to his right. He's misread it, and it's gone between Kelvin Davis and the near post, and he'll not be happy uh, with that one. That's a good goal for Swindon, but a not a good goal for Kelvin Davis. Barnard has just come on for Gooley. Here's Lalana. Salampton need to get the ball to Lalana. Here's Lambert. Plays it in field to Barnard. Nice play from Salampton. Starting to pass a bit. Schneiderlin thinks about switching play and tries to do so. And picks out Chamberlain. What a ball. Chamberlain in towards the penalty area. It was pulled back. And that's going to have to be a free kick and a yellow card. Chamberlain sprawled to the ground inside the penalty area. But the initial contact clearly outside. And that is as clear cut a yellow card as you will ever see. Well, it's just a pity that he couldn't stay on his feet because there was no cover there, he was cutting into the box, it was an acute angle, and he's just stumbled and gone down. And uh, you're right, Andy, that, that's got to be a yellow card. Yeah, the ref is calling Rose onto him. A brilliant ball from Schneiderlin. Across the pitch, Rose thought he could intercept it with his head. Chamberlain just nipped behind him, and when Rose realised he wasn't going to get his head to it, he turned, but he turned too late, Chamberlain was gone. He's driving towards the area. You've just got to look at this uh, situation as well. The ball is just uh, out from the uh, the corner of the 18-yard box on the right-hand side, and there's a big gap between the back four Swindon and their goalkeeper. The ball's got to be put in between the goalkeeper and back four. Dangerous one to handle if the delivery's right. Seven white shirts in the area. Everybody is back for Swindon. It's going to be Harding to swing it in, left-footed. Lots of movement in the area. Harding lifts it in. Lambert with his head! 150 Football League goals for Ricky Lambert. But more importantly, he's re-established Southampton's lead. They called it perfectly. It was lifted in between the defence and the goalkeeper. Lambert, he wasn't going to miss from there. He just headed it past the goalkeeper. And Southampton have the lead again. Southampton 2, Swindon 1. Well, I talked about the delivery. The delivery was a quality ball into the box. Lambert rose above everybody and stuck it away at the goalkeeper's left-hand side. A good goal, good header. 2-1. <coughs> Well, you've got to give a lot of credit there to Dan Harding because that was a superb delivery. The keeper didn't know whether to come or to stay. He was in two minds and Lambert, well, punished him, headed it in. And the mood changes at St Mary's as we go past the hour mark. It's difficult. Now, it's to Swindon 1 and so that's going to have a corner down over the near side because of a lucky bounce off a Swindon head. And momentum has just clearly changed 180 once again. Well, it's a difficult ball, Andy, once that comes in. You know, you've got your goalkeeper hesitating, your back four, Lambert's met it spot on, his timing was superb, and that's given them a lead. Corner then, Lalana's going to send in a right-footed in-swing, he rolls it along the ground, Chamberlain inside the penalty area, Chamberlain twisting and turning, thinks it towards the back post, Jaidi's there, Jaidi with the head, it's another goal! Rani Jaidi, the Tunisian, two goals in two minutes, both from set pieces, both work brilliantly off the training ground. I think Barnard tried to steal it on the goal line, but that is Rani Jaidi's goal. And this game has turned on its head because of Southampton's ability to convert their set pieces. Southampton 3, Swindon 1. Well, another ball into the back of the six-yard box. This time Jaidi roars up and he's just got his head to it. He's headed it down, left at the goalkeeper and into the net. And that really does put Southampton now into the driving seat when really they'd lost the momentum of the game. But those two goals now, that free kick, the delivery, have totally changed the game, Andy. And it was a very, very lucky corner to win because it was just a long ball that bounced off a Swindon head behind. It took a lucky Southampton bounce and boy did they punish them. But what a clever corner routine. Lalana took it short. Chamberlain came and received it and crossed it from a different angle. And from there, Raddy Jaidi made it 3-1.
as Swindon have possession with Ritchie, the scorer of their goal, and a chance for Caddis to get across. It's a deep one, and Butterfield coolly brings it down under no pressure whatsoever and just sends it long, which Barnard will chase. Frampton should get there first, but Barnard does well, and Frampton brings it down, and that's going to have to be at least a yellow card. I think Cuthbert was covering behind him, but those were the only two Swindon players anywhere near uh, the ball and the only two players in their own half. Good play from Barnard, his hard work, one possession and a free kick. Well, I don't think he's uh, got the card out at all there. That's a deal. He's took it cleanly out of the game, absolutely deliberately there, Andy, and he's not booked them. I just can't believe that. He's lucky it's Butterfield. Rows it into Hammond in the area. Hammond around the goalkeeper. Someone needs to put it in. Oh, Fontaine's put it over. Another brilliantly worked Southampton free kick. Hammond found space, the keeper came out to close down the angle, he took it round the keeper, lifted it in towards the six-yard box. Fonte, who's got four goals already this season, headed the ball over the bar from only two yards out, and that was a chance to end this well, game. You've got to say, Swindon went to sleep there, Southampton took advantage of it, and uh, Hammond's got in, chipped it up, and Fonte's put a clean over the top, when really it should have been 4-1. Fonte is certainly someone who can score goals. Barnard trying to help it on, gets challenged by two Swindon men. There could be a Saints breakaway here. Schneidlin has it, driving towards the penalty area. He's got Chamberlain up with him. Will he play Chamberlain in? Schneidlin does play Chamberlain in. Chamberlain shoots and scores, but the offside flag has gone up and the goal won't count. And I think, to be fair, Chamberlain had gone a yard or two offside and Schneidlin just held the ball for a fraction too long there. Well, he just held a, a fraction too long as Harding came down the left-hand side. It just allowed Chamberlain to get a yard offside and he was just a yard as the linesman put his flag up. Barnard and Lambert are the only Saints players in the Swindon half. Lambert picks it up, that was careless from Swindon. Lambert thinks about the shot from a long way out! And he caught the goalkeeper by surprise. And in the end, Lucas was just falling down. He simply swung an arm at the ball and he managed to deflect it wide of the post. Well, that's more like the Ricky Root, 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 Ricky by David Lucas, the Swindon goalkeeper. A good effort from Ricky Lambert. And today seems to be evidence that if there was any doubt, Ricky Lambert is now back somewhere near his best. You've, you've got to say his confidence is back now, to be trying that from where he was. Corner yeah. taken quickly, lifted in towards the penalty spot. Jaidi and Fonte fight over it. It came off Jaidi. Gomer with the volley! Oh, what a great effort from the edge of the penalty area. And again, Lucas tips it over. Goburn struck it sweetly with his left foot from 20 yards out. Lucas was alert to it, though, and he tipped it over the bar. Well, the goalkeeper needed to be alert there. He just managed to get his arm to it, and it was a strong arm as well as he put it over the top. Goburn, the substitute, leaves it for Lallana. Lallana plays it through. Can Barnard make it four? Barnard tries to go around the keeper from an impossible angle. Lee Barnard has, his, has the fourth goal for Southampton. Wonderful football, Lallana played it in, Barnard went round the goalkeeper, it looked like surely, surely he couldn't finish from the angle he'd taken it to, but he did so with the inside of his right foot, and it's Southampton 1, Swindon, uh, Southampton 4, sorry, Swindon 1. Well, that was a difficult ball for him to cut in, he really was, in an acute angle, he's run to the dead ball line there, he's cut it inside that near post to make it 4-1, good work from Barnard there.